I've just got back from the charity shop and, um, well, take a look. You all right? Yeah. I just nearly got squashed. So cool. What do I do with this lovely basket in the meantime? It's cash only, darling. Yeah. So if I leave it with you, I'm going to yeah. find some cash. Yeah, yeah. Right, there you go, Jean. There you go. I'll, you. I'll be back. All right, I'll love. Back. See you then. So that's their card machine not working. I'm hoping I've got cash in the car. Normally, I'll bring my wallet. I think today I left it on the side, which is frustrating. So, yeah, annoyingly, one of those days that I don't take my wallet, which has cash in it. I remember seeing it on the side as well and going, I'm not gonna need that today. So I'm gonna do some packing first. Before I do that, quick follow on from yesterday when I told you about the bubble wrap arriving. So that's 1,000 by 100. And guess what? You get 1,000 by 100. Okay. I am a little bit of a expect the worst doom motherfucker. And in my head, I keep telling myself that they're going to go through that bag, that basket, see some bits and go, oh, actually, let's put the price up on that. So I'm going to pick my orders so they're ready, go and pay them, then come back and talk about them. Preservation is key, you know? Shit, every single one is a big item today. They're all big items. Big packing. Big. I'm definitely going to go buy that stuff now. Big packing day. Can't be bothered with that. So I'm going to go and shirk it. Then come back and do it. Fuck's sake. No, mate, you're not gonna need that today. No, no, no. Fucking twat. Come on, hon. Oh, I thought I forgot my car keys then. See, I told you I'd be back quick. I mean, I've got cash, we're all right. I do like these. Cheese! Look at that. 2000s. Yeah, we'll always use loyalty credit when there's credit. Yeah, might as well. So what's that now? I can't do the maths. That takes that down to 23.25. Enough to get that. I don't even know if I've got it. That's what I'm making sure. 23, 25? Yes, please. One, two, and... So it's a, it's a bit over. It's easier than doing lower. I'm a bit slow in the mornings. I'd rather it be pennies more than pennies under. Yeah. Well, you have a good day. Hopefully you get that sorted out today. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of... Probably turn loads of people down, aren't you? No, yeah. Good to see you, my dear, as well. Thank you. Can you look after everybody? Of course. Yeah. Bye. Telling you, cash transactions throw some people off, mate. <laughs> right, let's try that again, shall we? We'll go through the pickups first, and then I'll move on to my postage, because my postage is looking horrific. I picked this up mainly for Ada to piss around with for half an hour and then get bored of it. It's a clip-on tail. It is made by company ZSL, Let's Work for Wildlife. So maybe Zoo something London, I don't know. London by Nature Planet, Zoology Society, a pound. Something for Ada to play with, and maybe four or five quid back on Vinted. Maybe, maybe. Some jeans, made in the USA, not your daughter's jeans. Now, annoyingly, they sell better and stronger in the USA for like 18 to 24 pound, give or take. I'm hoping to try and achieve that price somewhere, but it's going to be probably unlikely. It's just one of those more stronger in american kind of market brands stronger in american you know what i mean four pounds fifty so if i can flip them for a tenner on vinnie no complaining i've got this for one of two reasons it's emma's color it's emma's size and it's emma's parental title mother but it's the selfish mother range by stella and stanley it was four pound i think three pounds fifty if Emma doesn't want it, that'll sell for 
Eight quid on Vinny, no problem. Bringing the average spend down. I don't know who this is, but it looks very Final Fantasy-esque. It was 50p, it's a loose Funko. It's got Disney on the back, so it's something to do with Disney, so it's not actually Final Fantasy. Notifications left on. But you'll know because there'll be a screenshot up here somewhere. Lady Shave, Philips Lady Shave. Hopefully it's worth more than four pounds. This is just a very, very cool lamp. It was three pound. I don't know if it's made by anybody special. There's no brand names on it anywhere, but I just liked it. For me, I like it. I think it's really smart. Very Edison Bulb-esque. Let's just see if it works. How fucking cool is that? The heat coming off that is unreal. I love it. I think it's fucking great. Maybe I am going to put a shelf up here again somewhere. <laughs> Some sunglasses for Ada. Paw Patrol. She'll either love them or she'll hate them. Or she'll love them for 10 minutes and then she'll hate them. Normally the latter. 75p. For £6 we've got some polo by Ralph Lauren on that older tag. Really good XL size, a swim short. Nice little detail on the pocket there. Lovely yellow little pony hit. £6. Easy double up. Maybe even a little bit more with that colourway and the time of year that it is. And of course I was saving this till last. It's a mulberry bag. But if you look, it's Mulberry for Target. I think it's still got the protective film on there. It has as well. Mulberry for Target. So I'm going to do some research into it. But my way of thinking tells me that Mulberry put a load of stuff out in Target. They did a line specifically for Target, which means it'll be a lot cheaper. But yeah, it's legit. Sound as. Quarter three, 2010. So it was around 2010 that they bought it out. It was a fiver. Five quid. It's got the attachments on here as well, the little keychainy attachment -y bits as well. So I'm guessing they might go missing after a while. Mulberry for Target. Now I don't know if these were given out to Target employees or if they were just a, a range in Target or if I've completely got it wrong and it's got nothing to do with the shop Target at all whatsoever. But again, I would have done some research by the time this video comes out and I would have put it up on the screen for you. So for a fiver, I think that's very, very smart. Estimation. Probably 40 quid is what I'm going to say because of the line. But if I look into it and it was exclusive for X amount of time, blah, 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 it might be worth a bit more, 50, 60. But we shall see. My guess, 40 quid. And the answer is, I don't know what it is yet. I haven't researched, so hopefully I was right. Okay, cool. Let's eat that frog. Okay, let's get into it. Puma Kart Mid 2. These are like go karting trainer type things. One for the power, one for the brake. Sold for £50, free postage. All Mark Bowls. These are from that pickup where I paid £20 for three sets. I've sold one for 130 already. These have gone for a grand total of £113.98. All Mark size 3. Sticking onto the same theme, Henzelite Bowls Carry Bag. Sold for £22.99. All in. Thomas the Tank Engine train carry case sold for £10.79. And the DVD VHS player with a faulty DVD, which I'm not going to get down just yet. Sold for £38.18. All in. They're my must do pieces. Once I've packed them, if I can be bothered to do any that don't need to be done today, I'll come back and let you know. You said two or three. Oh, yeah. I'm actually dreading not being able to use my car as a truck anymore. Little update about that actually. So yesterday, because I am a cannot wait, doomsday, -er, whatever else, whatever else, whatever else. Um, and I'll keep checking stuff. I looked on their website yesterday and the reserve tag had gone. I was like, what the fuck? I've reserved that. Then I had a phone call from the finance company telling me that they still need my document 
it's all approved. They just need my documents signed. And I said, I've signed about 50 things. Whatever they've given me to sign, I've signed. The reason they're calling me is because they can't get hold of the car garage. So I've called the car garage, told them that I've had the finance company ringing me and they're like, they shouldn't be ringing you. It's all sorted here, everything's fine. I said, do you know what? In that case then, you're not gonna hear from me again now until I hear from you, which is hopefully tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow, we get some news. But it's looking like it has been accepted, which I find bizarre, because I didn't know I had that sort of credit. Well, obviously I do. But I'll say, you know, it's not a flex to have good credit. It's not a flex to have bad credit. It's not a flex to have credit, is it? But credit does help. Some people didn't quite understand my concept yesterday of talking about how buying a car outright is a dumb thing to do financially. Let me just break that down a little bit more. If you're buying a brand new car as an investment because you want to keep some kind of value, cars are not the way to go forward. As soon as you buy that car and drive it two feet off the forecourt, you normally lose about 10 to 12% of the value. Then of course it's gonna depreciate over time. So the value is just gonna keep going down and down and down. Now, if you've got that kind of money and you don't care about holding an asset, holding value, buy the car outright. I wasn't telling you not, I wasn't saying it was like the worst thing to do financially as an investment, because you are investing money into it, it's not the brightest. But if you don't care, you don't care. Do what you want, idiots. I've just got one last thing to pack and it is actually half packed for me. So I don't know what I'm trying to put it off for. I'm gonna get that done anyway. Let's pick another winner for the shoe tree box, the final, final box that's going on. Okay, so paste the video, fetch the comments, custom filter, your videos, continue, 138 comments, and the winner is restocked reseller your videos make me feel like getting a vegetable samosa that is not a bad idea how about some shoe trees and a ruler instead so restocked reseller instagram and email if you don't have instagram is in the description hop on over give me your contact details and i'll get one of those boxes on the way to you asap as well and for those of you that have made it this far in the video it is your opportunity to win something now and i am giving you the opportunity to win nothing absolutely nothing it is a nothing ball a ball of nothing for the person the man the woman who has everything nothing is all they can ask for i've actually given this away before but they didn't claim it in fact i think, I think ricky ended up winning that actually but he doesn't count anymore so for your chance to win absolutely nothing all i need you to do is write down in the comments i like the way you and then the rest is up to you creative license just bear in mind that those of you that do smutty comments, I don't care. YouTube does it, hides your comments. I have to go into my filters in order to be able to see it. So try and get a bit creative if you're being smutty, because I don't care about seeing it. But try using some exclamation points instead of I's or K's instead of C's or whatever. Because fair game is fair game. But I like the way you catch in a bit.